Green gyms have become a national licensed trademark. The pilot project was started in 1997 at Sonning Common, Reading. This emerged as a natural progression from using the countryside for health walks. This innovative approach recognised that being healthy is not just about being fit, it also stressed the importance of the triadic relationship between the health of the local community, the local environment and the individuals within the community. Derwent Green Gym was started in the autumn of 2003 as part of the Derwent Community Regeneration Scheme. We also try to do a few specialist courses throughout the year using traditional skills and organic materials. These courses include willow weaving, dry stone walling, hurdle making for wildlife habitats, propagation, hanging baskets, tree planting and meadow mowing. This is a way to pass on skills that have been lost to generations, becoming more important today with an increasing need to cut down the carbon footprint. I'm Pauline Mycock and I have an allotment here. We were involved with the City Council, with the Derbyshire Wildlife Trust, all of whom gave us loads of help. We put three ponds in because we were advised that it was best to put three small ones in rather than one big one. They've worked really well and we've got lots of dragonflies now coming in uh, on here. We, we make a, a list here of all of the wildlife that I monitor. Although the ponds have only been in for three years, they've attracted a lot of different species already. We've had things like mallards and uh, pheasants even. And when you consider that all of the area at the back of us is, is built up for miles, it's wonderful. We've got factories and main roads on the other side. And it's wonderful to have this quiet little haven of, um, for people and for wildlife. And the Green Gym, of course, have made it particularly nice because they've done the willow weaving courses, which have provided benches and sheltered areas. Quite a lot of um, young adults who have um, some form of mental illness, people who have been sort of out the loop, if you like, for quite a long time, they don't know how to work with other people. But coming here, they do actually pick that up pretty quickly and they start coming out of themselves. Myself and Trevor from um, Young People Specialist Service, I think we had a chat maybe back end of 2008 with an idea about doing an allotment and Trevor approached uh, the guys over here at the Green Gym and uh, sort of started from there really. They are open to learning new skills like the digging, use of tools, um, learning what plants are and the fact that the vegetation as well not only comes from a shop that they actually go to, it comes from a seed here. People are stuck through it, you know, through the bad weather and yeah. through the yeah. winter and through the, you know, a bit more barren times on the allotment sure. and sure. You know, it's come this I far mean, I think. The land really, when we started, was terrible, wasn't it? It was full of this, this, this sort of yeah. weed and twitch and stuff. We initially started with the, the herb garden, didn't we? Yeah, I think um, a lot of the guys, the guys have really, really, really hard on it, and they've been, you know, they come every week and they're really, yeah. really sort of bought into the idea yeah. that it's their piece of land. They have to work as a team because you can't go off individually and just dig something up. I mean, it has to be discussed prior to that, and more often than not, things are sort of planned out before we actually start the gardening, and then so people know what to do. So everybody has an input in that. So it's all about teamwork. And having a focus, not really been about. The gardening, I know it's a gardening allotment type place, but it's not really yeah. about that. It's no. about no. friends, making friends, yeah. making a commitment to be around every week, socialising, having a laugh, yeah. having a cup of tea, a few biscuits, yeah. you know. Yeah. It really is that yeah. sort of social aspect, yeah. really. I think the Green Gym itself, the, the other groups as well, have always have welcomed our young yeah. people yeah. Into, the, into their mix. And I think yeah. there isn't that us and them yeah. stuff going yeah. on here, but it really is Although a big family in that. Yeah, sense. we're a community on our own with what we do. You know, the other guys at the Green Gym, they you know, they, they respond to us really well, you know, they embrace us, don't they? But I guess that's what we've got to reinforce with, with yeah. these young people, is that they're part of a wider community. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's not about it's not about labels, it isn't about a diagnosis. Yeah. It really is about that you're part of a community. Yeah. And that's yeah. where, you, you know, that's, that's where you live.